It is the 26th of June 2014 and this is the 12th development vlog for Glowbreaker version 2. This is the development vlog for yesterday aka the 25th of June 2014. Again just finished working on it about 10 or 15 minutes ago so yeah just doing it now. So actually let's just show you what we've been working on today. We added a button here so you can go back. This is essentially just a placeholder at the moment. There's even some existing assets, but we've just put it down. It's dynamically positioned based on the screen size and also the asset size. So we can just switch it over. It's using the hash define, which we'll show you all in a second in code. So when the artwork is done, we can just put it in. Same with the world one and two, but that was there yesterday. And so that's nothing new if you've been following this series. If you click on this, this has changed quite a bit. We've got this go back button as well. So this just goes back to this screen and this goes back to the main menu. But on the actual level select screen, we had this before. We've add, added an action. So when you swipe to this, a slight little easing. And I believe it's the ease. Actually, there's no point me even trying to guess. I can have a look for you right now what the actual action is. So it is level select, and I am looking at this one here. So it is ease cubic action out. If you're interested in what action I used for this, so yeah, added that action. Also added the ability or the feature that the levels are locked. If you haven't unlocked them yet, I haven't added the ability of unlocking levels simply because. The, the gameplay isn't fully finished yet, so that isn't done, but that will be done very soon. Also, I did a star system. By default, each un unlock level has zero stars, and if this was completed with X man stars, then you would just see this 23 icon by Lost Small again. All of these are just placeholders which will change eventually once the artwork is done. So, we've got the star system, and it's all nice and positioned, and it scrolls as an as well and bounces in and out. Also we added this dot system so it just specifies what page you're on so you can easily know. Again, like I said, it's, these are just placeholders. We're thinking of maybe, maybe making them clickable. So if you would click on that, it would take you to this screen, but that's just like a little minor feature. We're thinking of it maybe, maybe not. Also, what else have we added on the screen, I think that is it. <laughs> Just actually reflecting on what has been done, it seems like I've done jack shit today, my my language. Uh, it seems like I've done hardly anything, but spend all day doing it just to get it, you know, working right, it working on an Android device, working on an iPhone, on an iPad, on an iPad Retina, and just getting it dynamic and getting it all just like neat and just, just working, just working tight. Uh, also, another thing that I did was what you can't really see is started storing data. And in our splash scene, we've got a function called load data, and this just checks if the data exists, aka for this one, world levels unlocked. So, for the how many levels have been unlocked for world one and two. And if the data does exist, then it doesn't do anything. But if it doesn't exist, aka by default, if you can't find nothing, return minus one, which we should, which we should never be storing, then it just puts it with zero. And it does the same with the level stars unlocked as well. If it returns minus one, which it should never be returning, then it just puts zero because by default you have unlocked zero stars, but you have unlocked one actually. So, yeah, the, yeah, this should be one. Mm. Would like, yeah, this should be one. By default, you will have unlocked at least one level. Uh, obviously, with stars, you will not have unlocked any stars by default. And let's just show you the level select things. So that's what we've been doing mainly. Added some more variables here. The stars menu. It's a separate menu now, so you can just like click and drag. You probably wouldn't notice uh, what I mean is if I go back. If I were to click on this and drag over onto this item, you won't select it like you would with the other, just to make it a little more professional and refined. So, what we did was created this function before that just uh, creates the item and positions there. We just added a few more features on it. So, depending on what sort of button it is, it's clicked or not clicked. Um, also, the 
will level as well just check so, so this just will get the amount of levels that have been unlocked and based on that we will either have a unlocked level aka okay, one that you can click and you'll have a stars or a locked level and just down here check the check occurs again and if it is unlocked then it adds stars if it isn't then it basically adds nothing uh, what else do we have uh, yeah here was the pay dot system that we added and it just has a little quick check what is the current page by default current page should be the first one but if by some chance it isn't and in the constructor we've set a different one it will um, sort it out itself on that as well so that's pretty cool what else do we have Uh, we in the on touch ended we obviously just move the star menu action as well using the ease cubic action out and you just do the move to function so that is really literally it we also created one other file which is just the data definition file and in here we just define anything that we need to do regarding data so how many levels total per round world's total world levels unlocked id template and that can just be dynamically used and then we got level stars id template so we got like world one level one and then the amount of stars are like world two level 23 the amount of stars and yeah like i said that is it that's what we implemented today for tomorrow or should i say when i wake up the task will be implementing a pause menu I mean, a pause system verse. We'll be able to think of some sort of gesture based system instead of just like a typical button. So, I actually like how 100 Balls does it. If you haven't played that game, particularly it's a good game, it's free. It's on iOS and Android clones as well. They're very similar. And I like how they do the pause, something similar to that. Or with that. That's what we would like. And we're also going to be looking into implementing live. So, at the moment, if we just go on a level, the balls do bounce on the bottom we will be removing that so they don't bounce on the bottom and a lot of this is going to change the we're going to get new paddles new designs for the paddles also a little little sneak peek of what's to come we are also going to be getting new backgrounds a lot is changing <laughs> if you've played glow breaker before the new glow breaker you will see that there has been a big update it's it's a huge update there's gonna be 25 new levels it's gonna be a star system it's gonna be an improved general ui throughout the game even though the, you might think oh it's only a menu system it's gonna be so much better and so much nicer we're gonna have uh you you'll be able to go to our facebook page or our twitter page via it you'll be able to rate the application within i mean from within the application instead of having to search for the application on the app store yourself it's going to be a ton of features that are going to be added and we haven't even mentioned some of the really really cool ones so yeah that's it for this development vlog if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube whatever you feel comfortable with and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have i don't know good night good morning wherever you are but i hope you have a good day